Attention fellow people of the Valley of Freedom, I hereby declare this uncontested land is the Republic of Freedom. The basis of this country is enshrined in the Constitution, which I have right here. Please see me in the newly built Capitol building for more info. Well done, Engineer. I always knew you could do this. And to think that it only took writing a constitution, building a capital building, and brutally massacring the opposition. You know, you gotta break a few waves to make omelets. Dear Lord, the scenes of carnage I have pulled with this too. The sights, the sounds, the horrible, horrible sounds. Say, what are we supposed to do around here anyway? Good for you to have asked, Stanton. You, as the Vice President, act as a supplement to me, the President. You also replace me when I am not here. Interesting, so what do I do? Lieutenant Junior, you are the bolider. This place is a representative democracy, and we have a few representatives that participate in elections every five years. The citizens vote for them, and the representatives bring forth people into the government. That sounds really complicated. Hey, it's the government, so that's to be expected. Five days later... President Engineer, I collected the ballots, and the citizens need more food. Well then, give the farmers more money. I'll give them pension for this. Okay, President Engineer. Say, when is the election coming? Fifteen days, son. We have to give the farmers time to plant their crops. What we'll do with it is up to the elected person. Okay, I'll go give the orders. Slow down there, little mule boy. You don't hand out those orders. I do. I'm the founder. My citizens look up to me. They do, right? Ain't this supposed to be a democracy? Have you ever heard of George Washington? Five more days later... Hey, look, the Ultratron in Town Square is blurring to life. Let's pay attention to it. That's like a really good idea. After much brainstorming, I declare Fredonia a democratic state, and the election shall be held in exactly five days. Any potential candidates must apply at the Democratic Convention and earn at least $150 in donations. All proceeds count as tax money, so please support your local government when given the chance. Now's my time to shine. Finally, I can showcase my patriotism to everyone. Finally, a beacon of hope. Yippee, Bikini Bottom can be in ruins no longer. Yeah, oh, wait, who the fuck wants a drunk president? I'd pick a drunk president, that'd be hilarious. Yeah, sure, Scott. Say, do you know where we're going? Back to the garage, that's where- Please tell me you aren't losing us already! Two days later... Heavy knows what this country needs. But heavy now, or Freedom you might not like to see better days. Feeling oppressed by the patriarchy? No, Miss Pauline, she'd vote for you. We should take some of the resources we have and push them somewhere else. <laughs> it's foolproof. Seriously, the Animal Islands need some regrowth. Free hugs for everyone! Nobody will be left behind! Who else here hates nuclear weapons? I sure as hell do! I will bring back spanking into children's education. Is that not a good thing? Bitch, what the fuck?! <coughs> huh? What'd you just say? <coughs> what are you talking about? <coughs> It's days like these where I wish more video games had voice acting. Mm -hmm. Say, Engineer, ain't you at least a little worried about the upcoming election? Nope, it's all going according to plan. Three days later... Hello, candidates, welcome to the Democratic election. Please assume your positions, and the voting should begin shortly. Can we begin debating yet? Heavy, can you wait your turn, please? That would be brilliant. I'm gonna throw so much shade that you're never gonna see the sun again. No, not that sun. The boys are gonna hate me for this. We're gonna hate you for what? Okay, so candidates, I'm gonna ask you five questions, which should satisfy our ten or so minute limit. The sponsors are gonna love this. What do you mean, sponsors? Quite you! Okay, so question one is, how do you plan on doing the country's economy? I believe that more women should partake in the services industry. Fair enough. What about you, soldier? I wish to disestablish the Walt Disney Company, or at least force them in 20th century studios to split up. Indeed, big industry is big problem. I completely usurp Mr. Krabs as the CEO of the Krusty Krab. No penny pinching shall persist in this republic. Absolutely. Nobody should look up to that jagged asshole. You should also probably appoint Sunny to my CEO. She might appreciate that. I appreciate the diversity viewpoint, Pauling, but I hardly think Sandy is qualified for the position of CEO. She represents Texas. Is that not a good standpoint? Pauling, just because she represents a region you like does not mean she is a good CEO. Exactly. Susan Wojcicki is the CEO of YouTube, and you'd hardly find any reasonable person that roots up to her. Yeah, she's a traitor to our people, and should not be the standard to what female CEOs shall be. Understandable, and you heavy. The console gaming industry sucks major balls! 
and I wish to see a new contender that is left off stage as soon as it barges in. Heavy, I understand the standpoint, but what about the rest of the economy? I suggest major tariffs on most countries we trade with, you know, for the stability of it all. Tariffs? Uh, please. You know exactly what tariffs do to the economy, and we are not isolationists, unlike whatever Japan was supposed to be, so shut the fuck up, you anti-American asshole. I stand for the economy of the country we are in, and if you call me an American, you didn't subside to liberal propaganda again, did you? Globalism is what makes America powerful. If we aren't spreading our superior ways overseas, then are we really American? Oh, looky here, another American nationalist. I hope he perishes in a fire as soon as the next global conflict pops up. Say, speaking of conflict, here's the second question. What will be your military strategy when it comes to your regime? Do we really need a military? What worse since the 40s have we had that haven't been total disasters? We don't need no military is a terrible idea for a newborn country. What happens in the case of, say, another country invading us? What are we supposed to do? Let them attack us! We'll be dead the second they touch our capital! We of course need a military! Which is why we need to help Ukraine by keeping Russia the fuck out of the air! That would be a good option if Russia didn't have any nukes! Well then, what are we supposed to do? Give Ukraine to the Russians! That'd be horrible, and nobody would be happy with that! Well, I have a slight feeling that Russia being the dumbass enemy it always strives to be! We use nukes to win the war, and we'll end the world with them if any NATO country attacks them! So you're pro-Russian? Just tell me, soldier! No the fuck not! Putin is the worst goddamn president in modern times! Even Trump was reasonable compared to that jagged asshole! At least Trump didn't actually nuke anybody! That would be bad for everyone. So your statement is? Nuclear weapons ruin warfare for everybody, and it's all Russia's fault. Amazing point, soldier. If it weren't for them, the Cold War wouldn't have happened. Exactly. I blame Japan for this, but they deserved everything that happened to them, if we're being honest. Statement of immediate agreement. Hey, this is a democratic election. Why are the elected candidates agreeing with each other? Because he brings a good point that we all agree with. We can't just mercilessly attack each other for credibility. If attacking our enemies means ending the goddamn world with nuclear weapons, then I see no reason to keep them at all. I suggest that we completely get rid of our stash of nukes. Sure, it's hard to convince our enemies to do the same, but one less method of mass extinction is one more step to a better life for everybody. Also, we only used them twice, and they were both to paralyze the Japanese Empire, and they were monsters. Nuclear war is like crashing a server. Nobody has any fun, and everybody loses. Okay, the dumbass optimistic sponge has a point. We're at the third question. What would be your foreign policy? Boycott the hell out of Afghanistan. They're the most sexist country in the world, and they're run by actual terrorists. You can thank Biden for that. What are you talking about? We had to leave because we were getting exhausted. We were so close to winning a war in Afghanistan, and fucking Biden had to pull us out right as it was getting good. SpongeBob! The Afghan war was a massive flop right from the get-go. Prolonged wars never end well. Just look at Vietnam. We lost that war because we were getting nowhere. The war in Afghanistan was less publicized than the Vietnam War, and the country has some extreme issues like sexism. However, after 20 years of war, you'd expect more progress to happen than none. So letting a country be run by actual fucking terrorists is a good idea. Is your head stuck in an oven or something? But 20 years is way too long to make progress. Even the Second World War lasted only six years, and we had to cheat to win against the Japanese. Heavy has a point. Oh, shut up, soldier. If I were in power, I'd plunder those fucking terrorists in a matter of months. Why is that so hard? Because no one can conquer Afghanistan. How unfortunate, since they'll never be in the custody of an actual decent fucking government. Okay, so what about the other candidates? What would be your foreign policies? Why impose tariffs or limit trade with anyone? We should allow trade with everyone, regardless of location or origin. SpongeBob, I understand the lack of trade barriers, but would the same country condone slavery? What about segregation or political suppression? There's a reason why China controls a larger trade area than the US, and it's not pretty. Exactly, Heavy. We Americans have had labor laws for the better part of a century, yet the fucking CCP has more trade allies than us just because they offer cheaper products than us. Minus 50 million social credit. SpongeBob! What the fuck?! You can't condone that oppressive system. I cannot believe you. 
You mean degenerate? Exactly, and that system was designed to control Chinese citizens so that they can stay in the Communist Party's path of least resistance. There have literally been people who have been forcibly disappeared because of that evil system, and entire families have been disparaged. So shut the fuck up, you evil ass wipe. I apologize for that stupid joke. I always knew there was something up with that goddamn country, and now they are a world power. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. They also hate black people, as well as the LGBT community. They're also ruining the American film industry, which I also wish to be better. Exactly! I stand on the idea that we should pick and choose our trade partners to avoid trading with those who go with any American beliefs. Like I'm supposed to give a shit about what the Americans have done. They have ruined the peaceful state of our world, and I wish reform all upon their constitution. Also, their gun laws suck, as does their education. America literally had over that outlawed slavery, and you Europeans still write us off. Well, America wasn't formed for good reasons, and it sustained itself for bad reasons. Why should they be the standard of the world when its European allies are objectively better? Because our geography allowed us to prosper and expand. Did the last 200 years just not happen to you? And for someone who mentions the Civil War... You American halfwits have tarnished the global economy so hard that nobody likes you. Your oppressive monopolies have also deleted much competition, and your labor laws have not gotten much better over the years. When the hell is the minimum wage going to increase? It should be $15 an hour, not fucking $7.25. There are small businesses out there who are already losing out to major companies, and you want them to lose more money. They're already on the way out. Close to 80% of businesses end up failing somehow, and it's the natural circle of the economy. I say we split up the biggest companies, increase the wages, and make sure no American is left behind. America sucks, and don't even get me started on their health care. Okay, that is enough. I have had it with you goddamn Europeans shitting on our country non-stop. Oh, boo-hoo. America sucks. And should reform its shitty gun laws and terrible education. Boo-hoo! We didn't outlaw slavery until 90 years after we kicked the British out. Boo-hoo! We have too many monopolies now, and our economy is tanking. I don't give a shit if we're not the best. Every country has their problems. That's no excuse to be a fucking sourpuss. You guys shit on this country all the goddamn time. And for what? Satisfying your selfish desire to feel better about yourself? Pointing someone else's flaws out is not enough to fix said flaws, so stop being a salty crybaby over America's flaws. Christ, it's like I'm arguing with dumbass children at this point. It's gotten so bad. Sorry for interrupting. Something just snapped and then it overcame me. Uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Ah, there's nothing better to me than a barbecue bacon burger, a hot apple pie, some delicious pigs and some croissants, and some good ass ranch dressing to dip it all in. If only there was a restaurant in town that'd have that. Thankfully, we here at Bagel Bros Burgers have exactly what you want. For only $15.75, you can purchase the Texas Special at a $7 discount. Just take it from me, the company's new spokesman. Nobody liked Bunsen Bezos, he was a jerk. Come on down to Bagel Bros Burgers, we have what you want. Okay, candidates, we have answered three questions so far. The economy, the military, and foreign relations. Now, let's answer some questions concerning local interests. How do you plan on fixing this country's problems? Which ones in particular are you focused on? Our public transportation needs an overhaul. I'm kind of tired of driving everywhere. It pollutes my wallet. Fair enough. Heavy now is for what I want to work on. I hope to tighten our grip on our labor laws. I'm tired of needing to be in a labor union to be paid a decent wage. I hope to have open borders. I'm really tired of Squidville's racist and isolationist policies. I'm also tired of Rock Bottom's trade blockade that they've imposed on us since the 1990s. Essentially, I wish we didn't need a passport to enter other countries. Excuse me, SpongeBob, but why has Rock Bottom brought out a trade blockade on Bikini Bottom? Is it because that title is insulting to women and objectifies them to the standards of the male fantasy? I wasn't asking you, Pauling. I was asking SpongeBob. No, it's because King Neptune accidentally set their president on fire, and they've been weary of us ever since. Why not find a compromise with them and apologize to them for your mistake? And do what? Enter the demilitarized zone that is their capital. I'd be dead the second I step foot there. SpongeBob, this is Fredonia, not Bikini Bottom. 
You annexed us upon independence, remember? It was enshrined in the Declaration of Independence. How could you forget? Oh, I apologize, brothers. It is kind of hard to remember that you own a substantial amount of land in the Pacific. I wonder how well France is doing with that land. And I hope to equalize the pay between men and women. It should not be different, everyone knows that. Solid opinion, Pauline. I still don't know why companies often directly disadvantage certain groups of people for things they cannot control. I cannot even begin to describe to you how many times Sandy has been fired from the job she's been hired for. Not to burst your bubble, SpongeBob, but those were because of her ruthless behavior, not because she was a woman. She wants to file a small bank just because it didn't have any locations in Texas. I can understand representation, but sometimes too far is indeed too goddamn far. Okay, now for the fifth and final question. And this is a big one. What is your ultimate goal as president of Fredonia? What is your mission statement, to put it bluntly? I hope to repair our relationship with the Pop Cap Union. I think 2016 was too much for us. Excuse me, but why would you do that? Electronic Arts is an awful goddamn country and it doesn't deserve anything good. Electronic Arts ain't bad. They added into playable female zombies into Battle for Neighborville. And that was a good thing just because they were women pulling. Battle for Neighborville was a goddamn letdown and died overnight for a reason. Instead of getting a Garden Warfare 3, we got a Shadowloo game riddled with microtransactions and surprise mechanics that removed what made the series unique to begin with. While Electronic Arts can make some damn good games, even fun ones, they're an awful country riddled with well-deserved controversy. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Well, one step forward for representation, am I right? Pauling, my Canadian Cyclops god, I will slap you. Okay, and Soldier, what is your ultimate goal? You want my goals? Fine. I wish to stabilize our currency by completely digitizing it. Excuse me? I understand wanting to stabilize our currency, but won't digitizing it actually make it more unstable? We should set the price to a reasonable price and make it work from there. I'm tired of everything costing five bucks or more. I once went to Bagel Bros Burgers, and the burgers are all ten dollars or more. That is fucking ridiculous. And even the fast food joint down the street. That would be the Krusty Krab, sir. Fine, whatever. The Krusty Krab standard burgers are not five bucks. That is fucking ludicrous. You can blame that bastard Mr. Krabs for that. Again, penny pinching shall not persist in this republic. If we can digitize a currency, we can also make it infinitely harder to dodge taxation. How else would the government make money? Correct. Taxation is inevitable, as are death and toxicity in multiplayer games. Now, Spongebob, what is your ultimate goal as a president? I wish to re-establish this country as a confederacy. Every individual province works as essentially their own, and the only thing keeping them together is the central government. You mean confederation is in the CSA? Holy shit. You want to bring back slavery? I always knew you were a globalist piece of discarded sponge bits. But come on, Robert. I am completely against slavery, and that's SpongeBob to you, you lard-filled piece of molded zest. Pipe the fuck down, everybody. We cannot just go for the throats like every other modern democracy. There's serious debates to be had. Oh, shut up, engineer. This is fun. It's fun coming up with insulting names for others that aren't slurs or lazy. Soldier, I agree with the sentiment, but we also need to get a grip of each other. Mercilessly attacking each other will not help anyone. Now, what is Pauline's ultimate goal? Pauline, answer the damn question. I don't think you like it. Excuse the fuck me! Hey, SpongeBob here says he dares to turn this country into a confederacy. That's a huge risk, but I'm willing to take it if you can go through with it. What I'm asking you is what you plan to do as a president. Oh, and if you say fascism, you're fucking deported. You don't deserve to hear it. Who are you to tell us that we don't deserve to hear what you want for our country? Answer the damn question. Before we disband you for a lack of clarity on your part. You fucking men are so needlessly curious. I am sick of it. I hope you all perish so that we women can succeed in this world. We cannot coexist with each other. No matter what the fucking news media states, we need to establish a feminine republic and exterminate all males. It will be the best thing ever. Jesus Christ, that oh, is immoral. You've got to be fucking kidding me with this pile of horse shit. Oh my god, a radical feminist! You call this radical. It's brilliant. 
That's what it is. No! No, it fucking isn't! Every cleansing is a crime against humanity, and you know it. You have so many fucking rights with Afghanistan for being sexist, yet as soon as us males turn toward you for progress, you backstab us without any remorse. That's a bad look for those on the left wing. But the higher-ups in so many industries are so misogynistic, it's ridiculous. I don't even want to tell you what those goddamn male seals have done to our kind. Yeah, fuck those seals, but come on, you're attacking an entire half of the population. There's genocides, then there's this. I don't give a fuck. We deserve as much respect and admiration as possible, and you Gun males will not oppress us any further. That's it, you bitch! I actually felt sorry for you. I was initially sympathetic for you. I really was. However, you aren't any better than the Nazis with that attitude. Sexism is intolerable among our comrades, and you know that! I am a woman! I cannot be sexist. But women can be sexist! You know nothing. Sexism towards men is still fucking sexism, and you know that. Are you seriously gonna fucking lecture me about sexism, boys? I cannot believe you, Pauline. Turning away from us right as the entire reviewing world is a good view of your vicious fucking morals and lack of ethics. And right as you get questioned, you try to justify it as if you are in the complete fucking right. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but you never belong with us. Not with that fucking attitude, you don't. I hope you get fucking cancelled. At least then, something good will happen to us today. You cannot catch me, you fucking males. <laughs> Thanks, Demo Man. That could have been a disaster. Great. Now time for happier happenings. Later, after the election. All right, citizens of Free Billion. The ballots have been handed out, and your opinions matter most to us at this time. Please vote for our president in the next two days and cast your ballot into the appropriate boxes. I cannot wait to read the results. Neither can us, pal. Two days later. Citizens of the Valley of Freedom, the ballots have been cast, and the president has been decided. Holy hammer, Nero! Who's it gonna be? Shut up, don't get my hopes up. The new president will be the happy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you out of your mind? Did you seriously just tell me that heavy of all fucking candidates won the election? Hey, everyone voted for him. Blame the people, not the government. I voted for Spongebob and he didn't even win. Does my vote even count anymore? Pardon my Southeast heritage, but... Have you idiots ever heard of Lean? Burgers, 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 burgers.